In a shocking revelation, 80s icon Kevin Bacon and his wife Kyra Sedgwick found themselves amidst a financial disaster. Kevin and his wife were seriously scammed. They lost a ton due to the infamous Bernie Madoff. It's wild how many people Madoff tricked, but kudos to Kevin and Kyra for bouncing back and showing some serious grit. If you thought Hollywood celebs were immune to scams, think again. Beloved Footloose heartthrob Kevin Bacon and his equally talented wife, Kyra Sedgwick, got a bitter taste of reality when they lost a horrific amount of their life savings to Bernie Madoff's historic Ponzi scheme. Here's a quick rundown of this immense crime. Madoff, with his unparalleled deceit, conned his clients out of an incredible $65 billion, landing himself a 150-year prison sentence. Back in 2017, Bacon got vulnerable in a candid chat with The Guardian, tagging his financial loss as a bad day. He made it clear, it's a stark reminder for all of us to be vigilant about where our hard-earned money goes. Important to remember, if you're not watching your cash, who is? We didn't want to sell our apartment and we didn't want to sell whatever. Just to put things in perspective, Madoff wasn't your everyday scam artist. Madoff was the former chairman of the Nasdaq Stock Exchange, but the glitz and glam couldn't shield his 11 federal felonies, which included everything from fraud to sneakily stealing from an employee benefit plan. While Bacon and Sedgwick have kept the exact monies lost pretty much a secret, data suggests losses as steep as $30 million. The silver lining? Post-lawsuit, they did see some of that money again, with some insiders hinting at a 75% repayment. Not bad, but definitely not whole. Here's a financial tidbit from Bacon himself. There's your actual investment, and then there's a dreamy, inflated number that includes interest. But here's the catch. That big, attractive number? It's just a fantasy. As Bacon put it, it's not a real thing. Our Hollywood duo wasn't alone. Madoff's treachery snagged blue-collar workers and the elderly, with some facing complete financial devastation. Ever the realist, Bacon pointed out that many were in a tighter spot than he and Sedgwick. As he said, someone else is always fighting a tougher battle. But we knew we could. We knew we were gonna have each other. By 2008, Madoff's house of cards came tumbling down and was finally brought to justice by December of that year. Madoff's grand theft, viking billions from individuals, businesses, and even charities. Fast forward to 2021, and Madoff left this world while still serving his lengthy sentence. Ever the optimist, Kevin and his wife Kyra are still finding the silver lining of this immensely disappointing situation. Yes, the money stung, but Kevin's been vocal about cherishing the immeasurable things in life. In his words, if it doesn't take you out, it only makes you tougher. And for this dynamic duo, it's about love, family, and health. We knew we were gonna have each other and uh, that our kids were okay. The Madoff saga reads like a Hollywood script, with big names like Zaza Gabor and John Malkovich ensnared in the plot. Even director Steven Spielberg's foundation was ensnared. And then there was the beloved talk show host Larry King, who not only got his investment back, but also wished for a one-on-one -on -one with Madoff. His burning question? A simple, why? Fast forward to the present, and according to the sources, the Bacon Sedgwick household is apparently worth $45 million, a dip from a pre made off $100 million. However, with a legendary career and a slew of commercial gigs, yes, Kevin's that guy on your TV selling phones and eggs, Kevin and Kyra are not just surviving, they're thriving. It's actually a kind of a super, super humbling kind of night for me. While the ripple effects of Bernie Madoff's Ponzi scheme devastated many, including celebrities like Kevin Bacon and Kyra Sedgwick, it also brought forth tales of resilience, adaptability, and introspection. Bacon's attitude, in particular, emphasizes the timeless lesson that material wealth, though important, isn't the only metric of life's richness.